big thing that, that could happen is we get our spouses mad at us, right? But other than that, um, um, we, we, love, we love just to, to innovate with, um, with, with the product, um, which makes me think that um, if we want to thrive in this, uh, in this environment, um, as, uh, as agencies, uh, we need to work on uh, agility and speed of innovation. So if I dissect uh, a typical large uh, client project that comes, uh, that comes to us, um, so there are three phases. The first one is the planning. During the planning, what do you do? You talk to the customer, they give you a timeline, uh, you talk about budgets, uh, who is involved, and so on. Then there is uh, the execution, the, probably the most fun part, uh, because uh, you, get, you take their message, um, you start uh, playing with, uh, with your creativity, then uh, you, the UX, uh, finally you use Intuiface, right? And then there is uh, the deployment part. Uh, for example, if you go to an event, uh, you might hire a, a vendor. They, it's an AV vendor. There is hardware involved, licenses, and so on. At any of these stages, you may face challenges. Challenges that may come in different form. For example, at the beginning, maybe there is a new stakeholder coming up and says, oh, I want to have a say in the design. Okay. Or maybe at the end, uh, uh, content changes at the last minute. So I have good news for you. And the good news is that into a phase, despite these challenges, it allows you to remain agile. And to explain you how, I'm going to go through um, a series of uh, use cases and demos, and I'm going to talk over them. And I'm going to start with uh, the case study of, uh, of events. So um, a couple of years ago, this is a, a Microsoft. Microsoft. Microsoft hired us uh, to create a wayfinding experience. So the way it works with Microsoft, when they go to a big event, they are rent a big space and they invite partners who use Microsoft products, 30, 40 partners. So you need some sort of uh, way to locate those partners. So in the first iteration of this wayfinding um, experience, we try to do too much. We put in all sorts of features, uh, favorites, uh, um, uh, sponsors, uh, printing, uh, everything, emails, and so on. And then at the end of the event, uh, thanks to Intuiface Analytics, we looked at the data and we found, uh, we found that uh, people were only using a fraction of, uh, of the features. So we got leaner. We, in the next, uh, uh, the next event, we, we just uh, did, uh, um, we just uh, reduced the, uh, the number of features, and then another, another um, challenge came up. Content change, um, content change at, 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 um, at the last hour. So, for example, partners moved position, like this microphone, <laughs> moved position, and then we had to stay up until the last hour to, to deploy the, the content, right? And... Um, then we talked to the interface um, um, folks, uh, and they told us, look, there, is this, there, there are some tricks here that you can do in the player. So once you are on site, just click the special buttons and do that. Boom. Suddenly, we didn't need to stay up until 5 a.m. To me, this is uh, a synonymous of agility. Agility is a tool that allows you to get your life back, essentially. Lobbies. So if you're dealing with big companies, usually they have nice buildings and nice lobbies. So then uh, that's an opportunity for you to discuss uh, interactive signage with them. So this is a few years back. This is a project, again, we've done for Microsoft. Microsoft uh, facilities team, that's the right team probably to, to, to engage when, when you work with those companies, they came to us with a request. They said, um, we would like to um, research, we'd like to prototype um, what a lobby of the future experience might look like. Imagine somebody visiting somebody else at, my, uh, you know, at Microsoft. They spend uh, three to five minutes in the lobby. 
And while they're waiting for, for their host to open the door, and um, they, they can look up uh, what's happening in the building, um, you know, restaurants nearby, and, and so on. What I enjoyed about this project in particular is the ability for us, a, a creative agency, to express our creativity, not only with features that are out of the box um, from Intuiface, but also the ability to patch together all other, uh, all other features in ways that uh, you can invent your own uh, components, your, your own uh, creative expression. So thank you for, for giving us that tool. <laughs> Okay, so this one, I don't know if there is audio or not, but uh, I'm going probably. Um, so this is uh, another, uh, it's a promo, internal promo video, kind of. Um, so um, this is me. So this is a, a, um, a, a video about uh, an installation we have done for Microsoft Production Studios. Production Studios is a building where most of the videos uh, are being made uh, at Microsoft. It's a secure building, so you cannot get in, but they wanted something where you could take a photo in the lobby. Uh, you can learn about the vendors who are uh, working there. Uh, maybe taking a virtual tour of the, of the building, uh, download it in a VR through a QR code, control lights, uh, like a Philips Hue lights, uh, as well as uh, projection mapping on the wall. So we were able to do everything with Intuiface, and we were so happy that uh, most of these components were there, and then the rest, we just invented them. <laughs> okay, storytelling. What does storytelling with Intuiface look like when you deal with a large company? It looks like, like this. The, um, your client com comes along with a thick uh, PowerPoint or a Word document, either ways. Complex information in there, very heavy. And then they are asking you to translate that content into a beautiful interactive experience designed according to their brand guidelines. Now, I have mixed news for you. And the mixed news is that um, Intuiface alone cannot uh, make you successful in these kind of situations. You really have to work with your client and take their heavy duty content and make sure that they are able to distill it down to tidbits of information that then you can apply your mastery in UX and into a face and convert it into an experience. Without, they are the subject matter experts. They have to do this effort with you. This is a, another project we have done for uh, Deloitte. As you can see, different company, different brand guidelines, uh, uh, minimalist design, uh, and um, something that uh, they are very heavy in infographics, so they wanted really to, to, to go down that path. Something we, um, we noticed is that uh, the, the, um, these companies love uh, motion. So we started doing more and more motion graphics um, in every uh, of, of our applications, just because it increases the production value. And uh, if they can afford it, uh, usually they, they can, uh, just, uh, just add motion graphics. It's just a, a, a great way to go. Surveys. Okay, surveys um, can be used in different scenarios. So for example, you can run a trivia as an attract loop, just for inviting people to touch the screen. Or you can combine surveys with Intuiface analytics. And suddenly you capture very valuable information about your users. Or if you go to an event and you provide right away results uh, or uh, uh, surprising um, outcomes from the survey, those can become conversation starters uh, for a salesperson that is hanging around the screen. Case studies. So companies love to talk about um, their products and services and how other 
users who have purchased before, they are happy, right? So this is a scenario where Intuiface excels because these customer success stories um, usually come in different formats. They can be video, PDFs, images, um, and Intuiface allows you to organize this content into templatized databases, which, by the way, the client wants to hear how easy it is to maintain down the road this content, right? It will work on different devices, and it also will work offline at an event, because at an event, usually you don't have great internet connectivity. So that's another selling point. Okay, diversity, inclusion, accessibility, all these big words. What do they mean? So this is a hot topic for um, large enterprises. Why? Because uh, some of them will have to ad adhere to, to, this, uh, uh, to these themes. Others, uh, they realize the potential, the benefit uh, of translating their message and cater to a diverse audience because the so society is, is a diverse place. Now, you, you may be thinking, how does Intuiface, uh, you know, connect to, to this topic? It connects because next time you are having a conversation with uh, a, a large enterprise, bring up the, the topic of uh, diversity and inclusion, which it means a lot of things on, the, on one end of the spectrum, it could just be uh, supporting, for example, different languages for different audiences. On the other end of the spectrum, it could be being accessible for people with disabilities, which is a big thing. Now, Interface, a couple of years ago, released um, a series of uh, components uh, that support accessibility. For example, text-to-speech, uh, speech recognition, uh, ability to swipe on, on, uh, on assets or, or keyboard, uh, or keyboard events. So, I applaud Intuiface for um, doing this effort and support this kind of design, uh, design for accessibility. So this is my, of course, my favorite part, uh, uh, new exploration, uh, research. Uh, and the reason is that we, uh, research is in our, the DNA of our agency. Um, we love to mash up Intuiface with different other technologies. In this case, for example, we are combining Intuiface with Unity, this uh, real-time engine. The two words put in together is more than just, uh, just the sum of the two. You can see just a uh, pure 3D and then uh, the overlay done in Intuiface. Or what happens when you combine uh, augmented reality and Intuiface? So imagine walking at a booth. This is actually... Uh, your booth at Digital Signage Expo last year. You find a kitchen, a photo of the kitchen that you like, and now you're thinking, okay, I'd like to experience this kitchen right now and on my phone. And that image on the Intuiface kiosk triggers an, an app, an AR app on your phone, and now it materializes in front of you and you can walk inside that, that 3D model. So this is actually, um, this is a last experiment in AR we have done. Uh, imagine you get a, a text message with an image, uh, you pull out your Apple Watch, uh, you take your phone, uh, and suddenly you have an AR experience on your phone that controls a physical, a physical interface digital signage installation right there. So AR controlling uh, interface. All is possible, interface. Okay, so let me come back to uh, just the, um, some, some key learnings here uh, that uh, uh, summarizes our experience uh, in, in, dealing with, uh, in dealing with these companies. So how do, how do you approach, how do you get a foot in the door in, in, in a l large company? So first of all, I, uh, you have to identify a real business problem that um, somebody in, in, in one of those corporations have. And then you suggest, um, let's do a prototype. Let's do a prototype together. And even if the prototype sometimes 
is for free. We have done work for free. That opens a lot of doors. The prototype uh, caters to two, uh, has two goals. One is it inspires the person of what is the possibility, but also it's a way for your client to go to their managers and tell, look, we can do this. Can you give me the money? Can you give me the approval? Once you do, once you get approval, execute flawlessly, of course, and make sure that the, this, this, is a, this is what uh, uh, is important, in my opinion. Thanks to IntuiFace, uh, we can compress our projects in tighter deadline, in tighter uh, in time frames, which means uh, that the next time your customer will come to you and say, oh my gosh, you, you saved me. Now I want to come back to you again because you saved my day. It's not talking about something else, right? Once uh, you create the project, document it. Document it in video. Not always is possible because if there are internal projects, uh, that's, I understand. But if you can, document it for your portfolio. Document it for your client because their client, he has reviews. He, his, his performance review will be dependent on the results. So give him or her ammunition to get a bonus so they can hire you again, right? And, and be happy with your services. And don't forget to give Another copy to the IntuiFace marketing team. <laughs> they are here. So their search engine optimization effort is awesome. It's much better than mine. I get leads coming from the IntuiFace website, not from mine necessarily. So just distribute that video everywhere, but don't forget to give it to the people right in front here. That was my last slide. Thank you so much.